Welcome back guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see another uh, feature extraction technique called TF-IDF. So TF-IDF is nothing but term frequency, inverse document uh, frequency. It's gonna use uh, both of these separate terms and combine it together in order to create a feature vector. It's a measure that is uh, used in the field of like information uh, retrieval. Uh, you can also consider as like a document retrieval or uh, any other uh, uh, information uh, retrieval from a uh, corpus and um, it can able to quantify the importance or relevance of uh, string representations so uh, it can be like a phrases words or lemmas in a document or uh, among a collection of documents so in this uh, a term like quantify the importance means it will just uh, give importance to the uh, rare words or uh, a topic oriented meaningful words so let's say if you are having uh, two documents, uh, let's say the is, it, it will be commonly occurring in uh, uh, all the documents. So it won't be having uh, that much importance. But uh, when you say AI machine learning in some particular document means, uh, it will give more importance to those words because uh, it, it has more importance and uh, it can able to uh, give more context compared to the previous example. Uh, what I said like the uh, is. So that's how it can able to get the importance or relevance of the string representations. So this is one of the popular uh, technique most commonly used in uh, all the machine learning projects. Now let's dive into the example. So for this also, I'm gonna use the same example what we have uh, done for the bag of words feature extraction. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this, run this. So next, uh, we are going to import the module. So from sklearn dot feature extraction dot text import tfidf vectorizer and uh, I'll just initialize it as tfidf equals tfidf vectorizer and here also I'm gonna pass the parameter stop words uh, that will be English so it won't consider the stop words here and uh, run this after this uh, I'm gonna use the vectorizer to fit the data fit the data so tfidf dot fit of the text data so we have like fitted the data with the tfidf and as I said earlier, uh, term frequency means it will also like calculate the number of occurrence of the words and inverse document frequency means uh, it will just calculate how common the word is occurring in all the documents. Let's say if you have like multiple uh, PDF data or multiple text data uh, with different document means so it will calculate the uh, commonality and uh, use a formula to get the occurrence or uh, vector value. Now let's see some of the vocabulary now get the vocabulary list so tfidf dot vocabulary and this so these are the vocabulary we are having so this is the word and uh, this is the corresponding index so as you can able to see we have like uh, eight words so the index starts from zero and ends at seven it is also like similar to uh, what we have in the bag of words, but uh, here in the term frequency is using a dictionary to map the indexes. Now let's transform the uh, text data we have into a uh, feature vector. Now tf idf features features equals tf idf dot transform. You can also use fit transform if you want to do it in a single line. Now let's display this. It will be a sparse matrix similar to a bag of words. Again, you can also pass this to the uh, uh, model right away and uh, train it and test it. So if you want to uh, get a array representation means you can uh, go for that. So tfidf feature array equals tfidf features dot two array now let's display this now you can uh, see the uh, array 
with all the indexes so here this is for the first sentence and uh, we are getting some um, values so with this values only we are going to uh, uh, so these values are considered as like a uh, features and uh, it corresponds to some particular index now uh, let us iterate through the uh, uh, features with the text so it will be easier for us so I'll just say for sentence comma feature in zip of text data and uh, tfidf feature array now print sentence and print feature run this uh, this is the array, array representation. If you don't want to display the entire array means what you can do is you can just use the feature that is the sparse matrix we have got here. So let's run this again. Uh, now you can uh, see uh, the corresponding uh, document. So this is like the document uh, first index. So this zero is corresponds to a document because all of them we are just passing in a, a single array as the feature. So this whole thing is considered as a single document. If you have like multiple arrays like this means it will consider as like multiple documents and the numbers will vary. And the second one is the corresponding index. So each index corresponds to the word. So here uh, you can uh, uh, clearly see the word. So here we have interested and NLP interested it uh, at index 4 and NLP is index 5 so here uh, we have those uh, index and the corresponding uh, feature values and here also we have like higher value for the, the word good so that is in the second index so here you can able to see and uh, depends on the values and the commonality between these uh, uh, internal document itself will be uh, getting the corresponding values here 6 represents topic so topic is occurring in the uh, second sentence and as well as the third sentence. So here uh, the values are like less um, because it's like occurring uh, in multiple uh, sentence as well. And if you have like multiple words occurring in the same sentence means the value is uh, more. So that is like a kind of inference we are uh, getting from this uh, feature vectors. But uh, it has like a, a formula separately for uh, how to calculate the term frequency and uh, inverse document frequency and uh, uh, apply the formula to get this uh, values so you can also implement that from uh, scratch if you you can just uh, search the formula in google itself and uh, that's pretty much it guys you can just uh, pass these uh, features uh, directly to the model and uh, train it so it will uh, work like a charm and this is one of the best uh, feature extraction techniques for uh, machine learning and apart from that, if you like this uh, video, hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video.